Next up, it's gonna take a while to get to the stage because he has to do it in a Viking ship. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Matt Ziggin. <laughs> Richie Lala, ladies and gentlemen, Richie Lala. Uh, recently removed all mentions of his Jewish heritage from his act. Now when gay people do that, we call it being in the closet. So I would like to take this opportunity to welcome Richie Lala out of the attic. Come on out, Richie. The war's over, son. What? I don't know if you know this, recently a bomb threat was called into the Funky Buddha and Richie Lala started beatboxing, because that's been saving him for bombs for years now. All right. Will Watkins, your cousin wants to fuck me, which makes you a faggot. Um, she's a girl. I don't know, it's weird. He, he sent me a thing. Everyone's doing the Viking thing, so I want to talk about this. He sent me a thing from Cracked Magazine debunking the Viking mythology. So I'd like to say, that was from Cracked Magazine, you fucking idiot. All right. And you're fat, and your wife doesn't love you. All right. Um, Kristen Black. Kristen Black is here. Your hair is a lovely shade tonight. How far up Wendy's cunt did you have to shove it to get that sheen? I'm curious. I'm curious. Kristen Black is a professional hairstylist, and she likes to make fun of me for having long and uncupped hair. So as a professional comedian, I'd like to say, you're not funny, and fuck you, bitch. All right. Yeah. Josh Simkowitz, you're a very funny comedian, and you should continue doing it. All right. Um, yeah. Scott Lenter, when I first heard about you, I said, who is that, a South Park character? And then found out I was correct. All right? I feel like you and I should be raping city folk right now. Whatever. All right, what do I have? Jim Frederick is not here because the Dutch are building a wind farm on his chest. It's good, it's clean energy. All right. Mike Tavkar, every time you open your mouth, you set Southerners back 80 years. How does it feel to be George W. Bush? <laughs> all right. Fair enough, that's a three-year-old joke. Uh, we're all here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, for one, one wonderful woman, Wendy Starling. When I first saw Wendy on stage, I thought, wow, Rod Stewart is funny. And then when I met Wendy, I was like, oh, Rod Stewart is sad. <laughs> Wendy, calling Wendy batshit crazy would result in a class action lawsuit from the guano industry, all right? On the crazy meter, Wendy is north of compulsive hand washing, but south of scab jar. I think we're kind of in the medium area here. Wendy's romantic life can be summed up by the scene in Indiana Jones where a monkey dies and a fat Arab says, bad dates. <laughs> in fact, fundamentalist Christians have a better chance of finding a date for the apocalypse than Wendy. I fucked that up entirely. They go, fundamentalist Christians have a better chance of predicting that. It doesn't matter. All right. Yeah, booby, I deserve it. Fuck you. All right. I'd like to close. Wendy talks a lot about how small her tits are, and I agree. So I'd like to close, if I can, with a suite on Wendy's tits, who unfortunately couldn't be here tonight because they're in Geneva, Switzerland, doing important work with the Itty Bitty Titty Council on Foreign Affairs Committee. <laughs> When these tits are so small, scientists push them together to study many big bangs. All right, that's a science joke. When these tits are so small, she gets her bras from Somalia. And then has, she has them taken in a little, actually. It's afterwards. When these tits... When these... Wendy's chest looks like Dolph Lundgren's back. Uh, before... Before I went, met Wendy, I didn't know tits could frown, ladies and gentlemen. But it turns out they can. You know, Wendy Starling makes a lot of money with her shirt off dancing in bars. She's not a stripper, she impersonates Billy Idol at gay bars. <laughs> Wendy, you're the only one of us who can make any money in this goddamn game, so go out and fucking get it, goddammit, because I'm dying alone under a bridge without you! Wait a Everybody. 
One more time for your host tonight, doing a great job, Mr. Will Watkins, everybody. You can see Will at his next gig, uh, Golden Corral. <laughs> Wendy, 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 Kristen, Nandu, Lucas. Somebody once said, women aren't funny. <laughs> Talked to Wendy one time, she said, I would fuck any comic out of this bunch. I go, any comic? She goes, well, I wouldn't fuck Mike Centron. I go, why not? She's like, well, maybe like if Mike Cintron had like five of him and made like a Voltron Cintron. <laughs> Unite one. Who's the dick? Yes! Lucas. It's Lucas. Lucas is the dick. The Voltron dick. Patrick Schroeder. You can also see Patrick at, as, uh, at the, in the book, Where's Waldo the Loser? <laughs> It's an easy game. Anyone can play. Josh Sitkowitz, what faggot is dressing you? The gay hamburglar? I just want to racially profile. I want to racially profile. Dan Codis, same bad joke. Did I say that? Mike Tavkar, you made it out tonight. I was surprised to see Mike Tavkar. What happened? Planning got canceled? It's later. It's later. Um, Wendy also uh, ran a couple great rooms. Fosters 1, Fosters 2, also combined Foster 0. That's really it. When they asked me to be part of the Wendy Starling Rose Wendy, I of course said, Who? <laughs> <laughs> Wendy, before I get out of here, what the fuck are you doing leaving? You are like Sarah Silverman down here. You are the best female comic we have. You go out to L.A., you will now be Amy Winehouse. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye, Wendy. We love you.